Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the SK Hynix Heechee H01 heatsink. I did receive this sample, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. Here's a look at the retail box and packaging. Everything looks great. On the back side, they'll let you know that this is for the PlayStation 5 and it comes with a one year warranty. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside you'll find two pieces of product literature and the heat sink itself. Take a look at this. SK Hynix logo and branding in the corner. I really like the color scheme and aesthetic here, even though once it's installed in your PlayStation 5, you're never gonna see it again. Get a feel for the thickness. We'll look at it from all different sides and angles. Got the thermal pad on the bottom. Now let's go ahead, let's get this installed. All right, here's our PS5 with the cover removed. If you're wondering which side the M.2 slots on, it's gonna be the side without the PlayStation logo. I believe it would be the side with the disc drive if you have the disc version. We have the digital version here. But now we can go ahead, we can remove the old heat sink and shield here that's included with the PlayStation, just like so. Then we just kind of gently open that up to reveal where we need to now install our M.2 drive. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the drive we're gonna use is the SK Hynix. It's their Platinum P41 NVMe. This is a two terabyte Gen 4 drive that we're gonna gently just slot right in place. So just line it up with the pins there. Easier said than done, just like so. And then we gotta move the screw to adjust it in place. Get everything lined up, just like so. And now we're gonna tighten the drive down and in place. Now we're ready to install the heat sink. This is pretty sweet. Look at this fit right here. I mean, this is made for the PlayStation 5. How cool is that? Isn't that awesome? So we just have to go ahead, peel this off, line it up, and then gently press it in place. And then we'll take the included screw from our PlayStation 5 and we'll be able to tighten that back down in place. Peel, line it up, set it down, drop the screw in, and tighten everything back down. And there we go, we just successfully got everything set up. So installation was simple and straightforward. It's great to see that it truly is perfectly designed for the PlayStation 5. The hardest part through this whole process was removing the PlayStation panel as opposed to anything related to the heat sink. So if you're expanding your storage and you wanna get a heat sink to make sure everything's running nice and cool, look no further, this fits great and will be a nice addition to keep everything cool on your expansion drive.